All right, everyone. John Karish, Cabo Cycles here with our Ford Transit mobile service van build. Uh, this video is focused on the more of the wall over here. I did another video as far as the structure behind this thing, so go check that out if you haven't. But anyway, so I already had the uh, the two by fours there, that four by four, and these two two by fours here already in place to support the bike stand. So this kind of slotted in flush along there and I've got maybe like a 16th inch gap right there which I was fine with that I cut it too tight initially and didn't work uh, anyway so I got a sheet of plywood obviously and ended up going with half inch thick I tried a quarter inch and that was just useless so do not get a quarter inch it will not work uh, oh this gives a good view right here of some of the craziness from the last video with these the curvature of the walls so what I did with that is, I mean, you can have a span, you know, between there and there. That's maybe 16 inches. If you think about stud spacing in a house, it's about like that. So you don't have to get every little gap filled up right there or do anything crazy. But what I did was used a uh, kind of a straight edge about the distance of, of that and found a point where they had the biggest gap and just made a series of like wooden and rubber shims right here. And you can just drill straight through and thing solid right there so mounted then across like there's some spots like there you can just use a basic uh sheet metal screw into the frame and like i you're not gonna get close to the exterior skin but so this stuff for example is getting mounted like all around this area be careful you don't mount anything into like this really it's super close to the exterior skin you can punch right through that uh so anyway also on this side more uh sheet metal screws going through there and again this one you can't even you can't see this one this one had another gap right there that I filled in sheet metal screw at the bottom and then me measure <laughs> before you put this wall in place measure from outside to center of the studs and write it down otherwise you'll have no idea where these things are it's really tough to find them through plywood this thick anyway so uh got some wood screws just drilled right in to the studs behind there same thing there. And then I also went ahead and added uh, some L brackets right there and there. And when you screw those in, do the compression against the side of the van first, then secure these. Same deal, L bracket there. And for the upper ones, I had to trim it down, just bend it with some pliers and ground off the end, make brackets for that. And uh, I guess I should mention, Oh, and another thing you can see my leftovers right here from little notes I made. I know people are gonna kill me using millimeters for carpentry work here, but can't help it. Uh, if you got weird, and I had to make a cutout right here, fit that in. And if you got weird dimensions and all these, honestly, like once you can't see the stuff, create yourself a little map with some tape and just cheat a little bit so you actually know where you're going for. Because again, once the board is in place, you got no idea what you're going after. Uh, anyway, that's it. So you could also like build this thing like into the curvature of the wall to get some, you know, press horizontally out on each side of the van. I just decided that was a waste of time and energy and did like the flush mount right here. And this thing, this thing seems pretty burly. I'm probably going to, uh, probably add some more mounts and whatnot to it over time. But, oh, one thing, the M8 bolts that hold these in, the uppers and lowers, I loosened all those when I fit this board in. I loosened the bottom too. Got the board in there and then went ahead and like, kind of, you know, pressed down from the top, up from the bottom, cinched everything up. But anyway, that's that's a first wall right there and I'm still kind of undecided on what's gonna happen on this side with the toolbox, green smoothie, shout out. Uh, over here too. So anyway, another one as we get that covered. Cobb Cycles Mobile Service.